The concept of privatization is nothing new. It dates back to ancient Greece, revived in West Germany, and finally shone under Thatcher's government. Privatization is on the move. Our location is number 10 Downing Street, and our focus will be on Thatcher's privatization. Privatization is a poster boy of the capitalist revolution. It occurs when government privatizes state ownership of businesses, operations, or properties. Thatcher initiated privatization in order to reduce high government debt. In 1979, the national debt was around 38% of Britain's GDP, and 10 years later, it dropped significantly to 23%. Another reason for privatization was to reduce inflation. With rising oil prices and wages, inflation reached over 20% in the late 1970s. Privatization brought competition, which reduced price and improved service quality. The cost motivation also fuels innovation and productivity. For example, the price of telecommunication halved throughout the 1980s. However, privatization brought undesirable consequences. Not only did the unemployment rate spike upward, but firms could also dismiss employees at will, which led to increasing income inequality. And unfortunately, since the price of energy was uncontrolled by the government, inflation went up to two digits, again by the end of Thatcher's government. Recently, a new prime minister who claimed to be Thatcher II stepped into office. She wants to privatize Channel 4, like her predecessor did in the last four decades. Will her policies kickstart the British economy into another bloom, or will it merely sink it at hand?